This is a video to show you the indoor greenhouse that I built. Very simple greenhouse. It's about three by three. You can buy these at the Fred Myers or whatever in your area. Uh, it's just a little metal framework with the, some plastic over the top and the door closes. Um, these are great, especially indoor, because you get to monitor the temperature very easily. Temperature almost never changes because the house has always got the same temperature. Plants love it. They don't have any trouble growing. Uh, they grow way faster in here than they do uh, out there. Um, this is Pacific Northwest weather outside, and and uh, it gets cold at night even on the even now in June. So um, they don't grow very fast outside, but they grow really fast right here. So. Um, this is best to grow them up until they're nice and strong and they'll get outside and they'll get even stronger and you can put them in a hoop house outside or something like that uh, too but this is great to start them in because you have no question about what the temperature is going to be um, you know you don't have to worry about it and then um, and I discovered I have some really small really small uh, planters here I'll show you an example uh, set of the really small ones. I actually don't uh, don't like these small ones here that they sell you in the grocery store. Uh, they're just too small. Why even use them? You're gonna have to transplant your your plant into something bigger later. So you might as well get big ones. Um, four by four square or bigger. Um, or you can do I think the best thing to do is the wicking two liter bottle. I'll show you a wicking two liter bottle here. This bottle has some sweet peppers in it. Several uh, several peppers are already growing and I never have to refill this water. Um, it's a really simple two liter bottle. Chop off the top and flip it over and put your soil in there with a piece of um, piece of cloth running up through the cap. I drilled a hole in the cap and the cloth goes into the water, soaks up the water into the bottom now when you're ready to go plant, you just take the top out and flip it over and plant it just like you would with a regular little potter. But uh, I never have to water this. This this water will probably last me months and months if I were to leave these in here like this. And you can make these real cheap with a single 2 liter bottle. And that's about the uh, gist of it. If you have any questions, respond by video please. or. Um, Feel free to write comments.